Hello, Miguel from Grumo here, and today I'm going to show you a Glide app that I created using Glide's new OpenAI integration. It's called Coach AI, and you can ask it anything you want to accomplish, and it will generate a list of tasks for you to accomplish that goal. Not only that, you can click on any of the tasks and generate more subtasks for that task, and you can keep doing this forever. Now, you can tweak the prompts that we're sending to OpenAI to generate different type of results. This is why I say this is very powerful. Once you find the right combinations on prompts and settings, you can generate very useful information. Basically, you can create a course or a training plan on demand for anything you want to accomplish. And this is only going to get better. So let me give you an example. Let's say that I want to become an astronaut. All I have to do is click here and it's going to be generating tasks by leveraging Glide's OpenAI integration and it's going to generate five tasks. There you go. And here they are, research libraries, find out what educational requirements are needed. So a lot of this is useful, somewhat generic, but like I say, this is only the beginning. Now I can click on any of these tasks and generate subtasks for that task, okay? And there you go, we have more subtasks and we can keep doing this indefinitely and it keeps generating more tasks and tasks on the fly. Let's try, for example, become a top movie director. Learn about directing, build an interesting reel of your work, secure training opportunities, blah, blah, blah. This is a little bit generic, but this is where the magic of understanding how to prompt, basically, basically how to ask questions to ChatGPT in order to get more useful results. So if, we, if we go here to settings, you'll see here we can select an open AI model. Right now, the latest one is GPT 3.5, but for the integration that I'm using, it max the, the highest one you can use is text da Vinci 003. Now the cool thing is that you can also set what is called the temperature, the maximum length of tokens, and the frequency penalty. The, the, the temperature and frequency penalty, what they're gonna do is the higher the number, so if, we, if this one goes from uh, zero to two, the more random the answers, and the same thing for frequency penalty, right? So if I make it very low, like 0 0.1, then the answers are going to be more deterministic or in other words, less random. But really where the main difference can be made is in how you prompt uh, GPT. So in this case, I'm saying generate an action plan with five tasks to help me accomplish this goal. And this is the goal that was entered on the search. And the explanation of each task should provide concrete steps to accomplish the task. Here, I'm being more concrete as in the instructions I want the AI to follow. And then in order to be able to process this in Glide, I need for the task to be returned in code, in this case, as a JSON object using a specific schema. And this is exactly what I'm getting here under the results. You'll see how the result is a properly formatted JSON object that I can now use inside Glide in order to create the tasks independently, all right? Now, where it gets really interesting, I can set any specific instructions. So for example, if you don't wanna have fun, you could say something like, make all tasks and explanations super funny in the style of a Bronx gangster, okay? So now that we have that, we can, well, ask it another question. Let's say I want to, become the president of the United States. All right, let's see what happens now when I make it funny. And there you go. So the instructions are, get your hustle on. You gotta make things happen. No one's gonna do it for you. Of course, I'm very bad at doing any kind of impression. Learn the law, learn the law book front to back. You gotta know you law. No one's gonna compare you to street knowledge. Oh my God, I'm horrible. <laughs> Just pretend I'm a great actor and I know what I'm reading. Connect with the power in the people in power. Stay on top of current events. You gotta have backups in case yeah, and stumble and fall. All right. So this is quite interesting because if you wanna learn something in a style that speaks to you or make it more interesting, you can just tell ChatGPT to speak to you in a way that is simpler or funny or more academic for you to have more fun learning. Let's say that I want 
the ChatGPT to speak to me in Cookie Monster style. So all I have to do is clear this. I go to settings and here for the instructions, I'm going to make all tasks and explanations super funny in the style of speech of Cookie Monster. So we go back here and generate tasks and see what it does. And there you go. Eat lots of cookies because presidents need energy. Make friends and influence people. Even Cookie Monster needs to make some friends. Oh my God. Develop public speaking skills. Even Cookie Monster needs to become a better speaker. All right, so I don't know if Cookie Monster would speak like this. It's kind of like a somewhat lame attempt, but we can always go to settings and increase the temperature. Let's make this hotter. Like, I don't know, one. 0.5 let's see what happens now with the temperature higher so we go back here and try again we're going to become the president of the united states based on cookie monsters instructions all right eat lots of cookies cookie monster knows that <laughs> knows they give president power raise your voice loud everywhere president voice will hear organize support it show them you care like cookie monster right Okay, it's not that crazy. So let's increase now the frequency penalty can go from minus two to two. Let's make that 1.5, see what happens. And you can keep tweaking this until you get results that you, I mean, you find uh, funny or useful, all right? Now, I'm gonna show you a prompt that is being giving me uh, actual useful results. As long as your question makes sense, as long as your initial prompt for the goal makes sense, then you'll get useful information. The problem with these AIs is that if you give them some kind of impossible goal, it will try to give you steps to solve it and it will make up imaginary stuff. It will really literally start hallucinating possible steps for you to accomplish an impossible goal. And we're gonna do that after this. There you go. Now that I increased the frequency penalty higher, we're getting some weird stuff here. Exercise your muscles. Go door to door to meet happy constituents. Stretch those arms muscles by putting the extra. Okay, okay. I'm... Donate to yourself. Put your money into your campaign. Oh, that's actually funny. Put together an a meowsing musical choir. Propose a law with cookies. Donut. Do not, don't, don't forget to vote for yourself. <laughs> Actually, it, it, it's pretty funny. All right. Okay. Uh, now, I was going to show you ones that I think are quite hilarious because you can ask it to do absolutely anything. And this is where I was having lots of fun, which is, let's say if you want to become a top donkey butt sucker. I mean, this is something that is not something that you would probably want to do in life, but ChatGPT doesn't care. It's not going to give up. It's going to give you steps. So, warm up with some donkey squats. Explore the most famous donkey munching techniques. Practice the art of donkey nosery. Connect with the top donkey butt suckers in your area. <laughs> Keep munching on donkey bumps. It doesn't care. It will just give you any kind, you know, information, you know, so... For example, if we get more serious in the prompt, like, okay, instead of speaking like Cookie Monster, you know, let's, let's decrease the frequency, you know, to your point, you know, to 0.5 or something like that, and temperature to, to one, for example. Let's say that in the explanation parameter, include names of resources, books, experts that could help me accomplish the main task, all right? So the main task or the main goal in this case, right? So. This is going to be our prompt. It's going to be, in theory, give us more useful information, right? So if we go back here and prompt it again, uh, we want to become a top donkey butt sucker. Let's see what it says right now. Let's see if it's more, gives us more useful information. Okay, research donkey anatomy to understand the range of motion. Okay, consult textbooks of animal ana anatomy, reach out to zoology experts and or farrier Specialist, okay, I don't know the very specialist. Identify the best position to perform donkey butt sucking. Consult experts in zoology. Farrier, okay, farrier must be something related to donkeys. Practice routines and strategies to reach goals efficiently. Attend classes on donkey showmanship, okay. Train regularly with a certified donkey showmanship master. Again, 
I just ask it something ridiculous and it still comes up with possible steps to accomplish that goal. And I think that is the danger of AI right now is that if it doesn't know how to respond, it's not going to say, I don't know how to respond. It's going to come up with a bunch of gibberish. So for example, let's say I want to master the art, the art, the art of wet farting. Okay. Let's see what it says right now. Again, the prompt is serious. It doesn't have a lot of uh, randomness into it. Let's see what ChatGPT is going to give us in return. Okay, make sure to hydrate properly. Okay, so a lot of these things may actually sense. Understand the anatomy of the digestive system. That makes sense. Practice regularly. Experiment with different food and drinks. All right. Uh, let's say that uh, I want to learn more about step number four. So I'm going to generate tasks for that step. See what it says. And research, create a meal plan, focus on food and drink that potentially could produce wet farts. Buy groceries related to the meal plan, creating tasks too. Oh, it refers back to existing tasks. Uh, execute your meal plan, gather data on the foods and drinks that, that have yielded the best research with your unique digestive system. Pay attention on how different combinations might affect your wet farts differently. So this is quite academic and if you were to follow these steps i imagine you could actually master the art of wet farting so it can imagine things but it's not really just the, the thing about ai is it doesn't judge you regardless of what you ask it the problem is is that if you are asking things that are impossible it will actually try to help you by making up a bunch of stuff Anyways, if you want to get a copy of this template to play with it and learn stuff and have fun with OpenAI, just go to grumo.com slash coachAI. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.